All eyes on one man. Well, Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. The lineup then for the hosts. Peter Schmeichel begins in goal. Franco Baresi plays alongside Fabio Cannavaro in central defence. Lota Mateus plays alongside Ruud Hulit in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Alessandro Del Piero starts with Alan Shearer. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. Oh, Derek, what a chance this is. And there it is, the opening goal, the ideal way to start. 1-0 then. De Jong. He's in behind. Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. Roberto Carlos. High pressing and good high pressing. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Can he finish? And the keeper more than equal to it. Who's going to get on the end of it? Del Piero. And return to Ronaldinho. A very timely interception. Daly Blint under pressure. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Hulit. Ronaldinho. Zidane on the ball. Looking for the final pass that will open things up. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. Just over the top in the end. Frankie de Jong. Now options are plenty. Dumfries. Now with de Jong. Can he finish? And a goal! to square the game edge of the seat stuff and that's an important intervention Virgil van Dijk and just one minute of stoppage time say the officials and a chance to whip it in here Well, nothing productive, really. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Played through by Shearer. Del Piero, can he finish? And it's in! They're back in front. Stunning scenes here. Well underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Daly Blintz. Van Dijk with it. 
Really determined play to hang on to it. Well, you can sense the threat is there. Virgil van Dijk. And now their turn to have the ball. Depay. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Here it is now, a substitution. And he's fired over the corner. Now Fabio Cannavaro. Cafu. Varese. And Mateus has it. And cutting it out. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Ronaldinho. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Shira. Shira. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Substitution time it is here. Favouring the short one. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Well, they might be able to launch a counter attack. Can they use their pace on the ball in an attacking position? But they've got to do something positive quickly. Now, will the cross work out for them? And give the goalkeeper credit. How important was that? Well, what drama late on. It's a big chance, but I have to say, that's a magnificent save. And the degree of difficulty wasn't all that high in terms of the save. Alan Shearer. The Netherlands recovering possession well. Depay. Now with Dumfries. And just too much height on the header. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.